Is this the tiger? If you're looking for cheap tickets to go to the basketball game, I got you covered. It's just JP Partner, the Seat Geek, to give you the best ticket purchasing experience. Download the Seat Geek app and you'll unlock so many opportunities to go to an event you will certainly enjoy. Like a basketball game. What's awesome about Seat Geek is that it gives you the best price from a lot of sellers and it separates the good from the bad and also shows you the viewpoint of your seat on your next outing. Yes, use that for hold on. There's more. Use the promo code issues JP to get $20 off your purchase. Your deal just got even more awesome. So, so what are you waiting for? Download the SeatGeek app for your next event experience. What up JP Nation, it's your boy JP. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back to my channel. If you're a new subscriber, welcome to my channel where we do basketball reaction videos. Make sure you press that subscribe button and let me know what you want me to react to next and click the notification bell. You know where our next upload is. Please make sure you leave a like at the end of this video if you like this video, man. Today we are reacting to the day Michael Jordan ruthlessly destroyed Wade Allen in front of his own coach. Full story, man. So, man, Michael Jordan and his savage trash talk, his savageness and how you go about things, man. That's why he is one of the best the greatest player of all time, man. And I can't wait to go ahead and get into this video, man. And I know you are too, so let's go and get into the video. Welcome to a new episode in the 23 collection of stories in 23 days, Michael Jordan edition. Shout out to the next this for the video. This story is about Michael Jordan's revenge. He savagely went in on Ray Allen and his coach, <laughs> and then Glenn Robinson tried Chad, to tell big MJ dog that he wasn't the same MJ, Bucket. and MJ retaliated. Bucket. This is the story about the day that MJ went in on the Milwaukee Bucks and dominated <laughs> after a return to the NBA. If you're enjoying the 23 episodes in 23 days collection of stories by MJ, I greatly appreciate you guys. If you need me to react out. to the Michael Jordan stories. It takes so stories, much time to edit and let me know. you guys. So the one thing I'd love for you to do is hit that like button. It really does support the channel. Can we aim for 3,000 likes for the next episode? Let's get tomorrow. likes, man. Let's get a lot of likes for the video. Sure hit that subscribe button for MJ content every single day in December, and hit that notification button so you stay up to date with all the new videos when they release. All the footage used in this video and credits to them is located on the screen right now and the links are in the description box down below if you want to watch them in full. I don't want to keep you waiting and without further ado, welcome to the day that Michael Jordan savagely went in on Ray Allen in front of his coach <laughs> and said he's actually doing a good job. <laughs> Obviously. Mike is a whole different story for everybody, regardless of your position. Man, Glenn Robinson. Just to play against bucket. Chicago, that's the only time Jump that Wait. my city it really did a chance to see us play. Jordan was retired. Michael, almost two years ago, you left basketball. You wanted to get away from the media. You had no more challenges. Less than two years, you're back. One thing I, I kind of totally forgot, you know, once I retired 18 months ago was my love for the game of basketball. As much as I tried to stay away from the game, I mean, the more times that I played, the more times that my appetite got wet. Mm -hmm. He didn't come back until, I think, maybe the last 20, 30 games of the season after our All-Star break. Mm -hmm. So at the time, we played them the, the very last game of the uh, regular season, I believe. I ate my best meal. I got a good <laughs> night's nice rest. No, I, I read the scout report a couple of times. <laughs> Gotta prepare. You know, I was just excited, man. I, I was ready to play, not only against him, but just to play against the Bulls, man. Down low they go. Robinson in the lane. Wow. away and hit. Back to Robinson. Baseline jump. Mm. Robinson hit. So, you know, I, I wasn't, you know, I was like, okay, that's Mike. But I felt like I saw everybody. So I was like, I'm going to bust their ass. You know, I played well. Actually, I had 36 that game, plus Jordan had number 45, so he looked a little different. Mm. Mm. Yeah, that 45, you just can't wrap your head around it. <laughs> mm. That wasn't right. the same Jordan. That wasn't right, the 23 right. Jordan hey, well, we grew that, up, that we grew up watching. But anyway, it was a big article in the paper, you know. Big dog, you know, the rookie he outscored like this. <laughs> Looks down, finally finds Glenn Robinson with Jordan and Glenn Robinson with the turnaround. Robinson with the long deuce. The 
basket is Robinson. Please no, MJ ain't going to forget that, too. There he goes down low, Glenn Robinson. Wow. Glenn Robinson for three, now wants to back in against MJ. Milwaukee fans love this one. Robinson with a rebound for the man. In the middle, Glenn Robinson with a jumper. Back to Glenn Robinson. Robinson pushes the the 15, put it to go. <laughs> and, um, now, nah, hey, let me finish now. When he came in, he didn't have no training camp. He just came in off the yeah, streets and right, started right. playing. So if you look at the numbers he was putting up there, that's kind of insane. Still good. But he had the full season now, <laughs> training camp. He got a chance to get that 72 you know, win team. And, fellas, it was like he read that shit. <laughs> and he had to make a point. It was like he read I gotta it. Make I got to make an example. Man, the next season, when when he now keep in mind he came twenty three, <laughs> absolutely down the left side. Michael, <laughs> it's a little different. Tied at twenty three now is Michael. With you met twenty three now. <laughs> Boy, that fadeaway is just MJ's deadly. Been quiet for a little while. And ends that drop. MJ comes inside, fakes in the lane, fadeaway jumper. Yes, and it counts. Bounces down low. MJ. <laughs> Not a bad pass. MJ's pretty good They take one here. Josh Carter, 24, yeah. Oh, he made him touch the sky! Johnny Newman's ankle. But the Bulls do win it here. Of course, he averaged about 45, 46 against us. But you know who had to pay you. Hey, you know who had to uh, eat most of the buckets? Ray. Hired up and down the floor. Allen turns and looks. I feel bad for Ray, man. Like, you was here, he got a guard border. MJ fade away from 17, knocks it in. Over to MJ on the way. Saw him hanging onto those shorts for a minute from 15 on the fadeaway. Right. <laughs> Not Ray. me. Ray Allen, tough job for a young rookie yeah. to walk out and face a legend. It's a legend and you're playing with his equipment. Right. Everybody knows who Air is, right? Because Mike wanted to kill you. Mm -hmm. Was he mean to you? No, he wasn't. He actually killed me slowly. And uh, <laughs> yeah, he he would comment to the coach. He's actually doing a great job out here. And meanwhile, he's born at 45. Yeah. And, Wait, he's talking uh, to your coaches? Yeah, Chris I remember Ford. Uh, Chris Ford. He's, he's yelled at me. Chris Ford's yelling the whole time. He's like, rookie, get in front of him, get in front of him. And I'm fronting him on the post. And MJ just kind of slowly kind of glides across the floor. And he gets the ball and shakes and scores. And I did everything the game plan said, and then there's a breaking action. We're sitting there, and, you know, Chris Ford is just down there just hammering me, and MJ was like, he, he's doing a great job. He's doing a great job. <laughs> Meanwhile, he's got 45 on the books. So I was like, yeah. yeah. You know, look, that's why, that's why, that's why Ray, Ray to his credit, why, look, a.k.a. Jesus Shuttleworth, that's why he is, he's the first, he's Mr. Jordan brand. MJ yeah. said, you know what? You worthy. I'm gonna make you the first one. He the he the first member of the whole elite league assassins that George started creating. Mike Graham mm. the first. Yeah. Did not know that. Against him and you know MJ just had everything, you know, from mid range to three point to post up game, and he could score and dominate in each position. And defensively, he he was a two way player. Defensively, he was incredible and just as dominant. Did you think that Mike didn't want you taken out because he had 45 in the books? Like he wanted you to guard him? No, I honestly believe that he he didn't think that anybody could stop him. He could score whenever he wanted to score, <laughs> uh, wherever he wanted to score. So it didn't matter what I did out on the floor. He was going to get his touches. He was going to get his points. I played in between both of them. He's going to find it. The rules are totally different. Like you can't touch a guy now. You know, you a guy will go to the free throw line 20, 25 times a game. Just off of ticky tack stuff. But he used to, and Phil Jackson said this uh, when he was promoting his book years ago. If Mike played today, he'd, he would average 45 in his prime. Easy. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's just not a comparison. To compare what we do now and what's going on now to what's happened in the 80s and the 90s. When it get down to, to, to just the killer mentality and the killer instinct, can't nobody get up in that room with Kobe and MJ. They belong in that room by their damn self. Right. Hey, can't nobody come can't nobody come up in there. Like right. when you talk about the, 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 the set of what they bring to the table and how like what I fight you, I I put <laughs> sixty on you, I, you know what I'm saying? I lock right. you down like they by themselves. Yeah. They by themselves in their room. Can't nobody else grace that joint with them. Right.
and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did and you want to stay up to date with all the new Michael Jordan videos. Man, <laughs> he's doing a good job, Coach, man. And why wow, he got 45 on the... <laughs> Oh, man, that is hilarious, man. And um, that was not just because, you know, Wade was going to him and stuff. He remembered that newspaper. Oh, yeah, rookie out, Sean Jordan. He's like, all right, well, let me go ahead and change my jersey number. Let me just show you the real Michael Jordan who <laughs> put on that 23. He showed you how it's done right there. Oh, man, that was a great story, man. That was hilarious, man. Shout out to Wade Allen, man, one of the greats of all time. Glenn Robinson, man. You know, I got to give him a lot of respect, man. He was a bucket, man. He was a dog, man. But MJ, man, that's, once you stow up that MJ, man, like, that's a whole nother rap right there, man. You in your own little world, man. I'm sorry, brother. <laughs> but that was a funny story, man. Um, you know, Chris Ford was the coach, man. Rest in peace to Chris Ford, man. The first player to hit a three-point shot, man, in NBA when, it, uh, when the three-point line was created. So shout out to Chris Ford. Boston Celtic man but uh definitely let me know in the comments down below and tell me your thoughts on the story man if there was any other Michael Jordan stories you want me to react to or anything to react to just let me know in the comments below with ton of subscribers thank you all so much for tuning in and my day one shout out to y'all if you're new man if you like this video man definitely subscribe to it's just jp man and click that notification bell you'll know where our next upload is man make sure y'all leave a like man let's get a lot of likes on this video make sure you recommend it to other people too as well man there ain't no better reactor than me i'm jp and we out of here peace